Alright, people, welcome back. More of I'm and Why. So today is Tuesday, and uh, I brought you, though. So, as long as this deck does pretty well, uh, we'll go ahead and keep it on here. Because it's a pretty fun deck. You know, I have a lot of fun with this deck doing its plays and, you know, having fun with Labradite and the uh, summons. It's, it's a fun deck. It definitely is. Just, you know, I said the big problem with it is, uh, you know, the consistency of sending is a little bit slower than norm. You know, if I had a little chain, then yeah, hell yeah, but, you know. It's just a couple more monsters that we have to send, and then, you know, that's why I'm, I'm, like, not the biggest fan of it. And, of course, of course, of course, I hate this. Ugh, oh, it's the classic fucking u Bell syndrome. You draw your fucking u Bell, you have Armageddon Knight and Limit Reverse, you're like, oh, yeah, send u Bell fucking Limit Reverse, there's Terror. Like, nah, you drew u Bell. <sighs> I hate that, I hate that. It's literally been happening since the beginning of u Bell. All the fucking time. Of course, Limit Reverse didn't exist before you Bell came out, but it's just like, God fucking damn it. Like, are you fucking shitting me? <sighs> it's fine. I'm gonna do a different play. I'm gonna go into Leo. I don't go into Mothin, but when I do, you know, he's a 3,100 beer that can't be targeted, so stay thirsty, my friends. But seriously, like, fuck. It's like, what is the fucking point of doing that play when I'm just gonna draw you pal. <laughs> oh well, at least I run triple Dark Reffer in this deck, so hopefully we'll go ahead and get it and, you know, Dark Reffer it up. So, Leo, of course, nice and powerful. And wow, and another Limit Reverse. Cool. Hmm. Well, I mean, I can go ahead and activate Armageddon Knight Summon. I'm gonna have to set a Limit Reverse and take a, a turn slower, but yeah. Take a turn slower. You get that mirror force? Oh, okay. Oh. If it's fight first, then I'm not sure what you're gonna do, man. Because what you do is fucking use your tiger. Without, if you can't target and destroy the tiger, you really can't get through my plays. So, this duel is gonna be interesting to say the least. To say the fucking least. Like. I, w I want to see what you can do, but it's just like, wow, this is going to be a tough one for you, because there's nothing, <laughs> nothing, you have nothing. So, Armageddon Knight, Gun Sun, Jurageki, okay, that's cool, I guess. So, I guess I'll go ahead and activate the reverse summon, uh, opponent is all up in the extra deck, not even paying attention to what's going on in the duel. So at least we can get the ball rolling. So, nope, still just looking in that extra deck. He's like, what is in here to hit, take out fucking Leo? Like, mm, depends on what, you know, sea monsters you have, because your fusions really can't do much to Leo. So we'll go ahead and use Mali, banish Mali, summon Mali. Synchro Shokan. That stays. We'll go ahead and summon my Ultimaya, which of course cannot be targeted. Well, it cannot be targeted by attacks or card effects long control single mantra. Of course, I do control EO, so cool story. We'll go ahead and set this limit reverse. Activate my effect. Um, I, have to tell, I guess I'll go for Scrap Dragon and start clearing up this back row because I have a lot of cards that are just sitting there. Not too afraid of his monsters, but we can go ahead and start clearing up that back row, start sweeping it up. A lot of back row back there, so no thank you. My reverse is attached to nothing. Okay. So I'm not sure if he's playing regular back row or like back row just for fright first. Hmm. The question is, well he didn't have mirror force before, so I'm to assume that he doesn't have a mirror force now, but if he does have a mirror force it's gonna suck like butts. Okay, kill you. You in the face. You in the face. And this oasis is attached on again, mate. So I need to remember that. Because I'll probably, knowing me, I'll probably forget. Knowing me. Trauma Hawk. Yep. So he's using the second effect. You can send one ancient monster from your deck to a graveyard to this card. This card's name becomes the sent monster until the end phase. Okay. So 
So, gonna go and pitch and become Saber. Alright. So, Tomahawk becomes Saber. I know it's Tomahawk, but I, it's a Mabinogi thing. Mabinogi thing calling it Tomahawk. So, it's true to have Sabers. Say, so, oh shit, is he gonna go ahead and fuse into, uh, what's it called? A uh, bear? Or, no, sheep. Oh, no, tiger. I didn't say there's one or more fluffle monsters. So you get to destroy two cards. Sure. God, that's not even what I'm mad at. You're going to have a tough time against Leo. You wouldn't even be dealing with Leo if it wasn't for fucking me drawing you bell. I would have summoned Terra instead. Instead of the Terra, instead of the Leo. I don't know if from yesterday. I can add one of the fusion materials listed on that card. So you're going to get Chain and... And then add a Poly from your graveyard to your hand. Then you can add a Poly. But you doesn't have a Poly, so... I'm gonna go ahead and play another one. He's gonna show me bear, so I guess he's getting scissors. Oh no, he can get he can get bear or scissors. They're both listed. Those back rows were just bluffs. They were just bluffs. I mean, they were useful for his plays, but there aren't anything I have to be afraid of. He's gonna go ahead and get sabers. Yep, yep, yep. This is resolved. This is resolved. Thank you. Standing by. I guess I can go ahead and uh, summon another Ultimaya. Why not? Why not? Let's go ahead and wrap this duel up, people. So, activate this slim reverse that I sent last turn. Summoning Labradite. Mally effect one more time. Go ahead and summon the last Mally. Go into another Ultimaya. Ultimaya Tzulkin. Go ahead and set. Vex. I guess I'll go ahead and summon Beals and Scrap Dragon. Another Scrap Dragon. Set. Beals. And Tiger. And let's go ahead and wrap this duel up. Is that it? I said that Leo is just too strong. Like that, they really this deck really relies on Tiger. Tiger cleans that up, and the rest do their jobs. You know, especially Wolf, they will attack you directly. But if Tiger can't destroy, then the deck really can't do much. You know, it's very reliant on Tiger. Tiger is probably the best monster in the deck, which is weird because I think it's like, I think it's like a Shonen Jump. So. You know, if you don't even live in America, you really can't play the deck, you know? That's what Konami, like, half-assing these decks. It's like, yeah, well, you know, Tiger is a, pr is a fucking promo, so unless you live in America, you can't play fucking Fluffles that well. Oh, and Strix, like, no, we're not gonna bring Strix here. And it's just, it's just like, what's up with you and fucking half-assing fucking decks, Konami? Like, finish these decks. Like, before you move on to anything else, finish these decks. Like, round, no, like, them round down. Make sure that they're playable before you just jump on some new dick. All right. Well, sounds not terrible. It's kind of eh, it's kind of iffy because I drew both Maui and Labradar. I guess I could pitch special. Yeah, I think I can go into first turn Ultimaya. The question is, should I go into like Beals or should I go into Clearwing? That is the question. Probably gonna go into Beals just in case. See, 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 they both have their their ups and downs. Beals is, of course, if my opponent has a Regeki, they throw the Regeki at me. At least Beals doesn't die. Uh, Ultimate will abide, but Beals won't. On the other hand, Clearwing is good to try to fucking do the normal thing, because you know, generally, if I go Beals with Ultimate, I'll just go, alright, 101 cast down the Beals, and then run over my Ultimate, dead, you know? While Clearwing, you try to target me you on know, my Clearwing, I'm just going to negate you. But then if I get hit Regeki, they're both gone, so that's a tough one, but I have Limit Reverse, so. I guess if since I have limit reverse, I can go ahead and chain. So I guess, I guess clearwing would be the best choice. Since if he does, if they do regeki, I could just go ahead and be like, all right, chain, 
summon uh, Ebo Terra. So. so that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Wish I would have opened up with another level four, like Armageddon Knight or something, so I could have seen the Dagger's Thermal, but but just use Silver's Cry. It's the same thing. Or I could go Malio, but nah. So this deck this deck loves Labradite. Yeah. I was thinking about doing a Labradite deck even before Ultimaya. Yeah. You know, there's just another sink sink eight kind of deck. But then as soon as uh Ultimaya Came out, it's like nah, nah, nah. We we gotta we gotta do something labradite. Who has great synergy labradite? Nally. Plays are awesome. So, hopefully my opponent doesn't fucking rip a fucking uh, regeki because that would just suck some butt. Oh wait, I'm just going to you. Wait, no, 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 clearing. Ah, bills clearing, bills clearing, bills clearing, bills. Clearing. That's such a tough choice. I swear to God, watch my regeki. At least I'll still have terror, but I'm gonna be out of resources. Watch him pull off both. Watch him fucking regeki me, and then pull off the fucking castell. Like, oh my god. And then return terror. That's it. That's it. That's actually what happened. That's it. This duel is over. Because I'll be completely out of resources. I took all that I got to pull off this play. So hopefully it'll be worth the time. I said, I really wish I would just opened up with another level 4. Just so I can go summon him again. Nice send XE Emerald. And then I wouldn't have to use my Silver's Cry. Yeah, it would, it would be over. I was like, what if I top deck into a revival card to summon Ultimaya? I can go Mally and summon another Ultimaya. That's great and all, but I, don't, I wouldn't have another card to set. You know? So I couldn't even get the the goodness out of Ultimaya. Okay. So he's going to pitch, special. During my phase, you could just card one triple monster from it. Wait, what? Like, no, 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 no. During my phase, you can discard one fable monster, special summon this card in your hand. Okay, so he's gonna discard Ga to special summon Cha, and then Ga effect discards this card. You special summon this card. Special summon this card gains. Now attack. It's removed from play when it's removed from the field. And he's gonna go ahead and sink into four. Yeah, sink four. You gotta be careful, Mister uh, Fable Guy, because if you sink too high and you start activating, you know, level five or higher monster effects, that can negate. So. Interesting. So there's the fabled, powerful fabled unicorn. So when he has equal cards to me in my hand, which of course I have none, so if he has none, he can literally negate anything. Very powerful effect. You know, fabled unicorn is powerful, and fucking necro's unicorn is powerful. The power! <laughs> the breeze dragon. Uh, yeah. Yep. So in your fabled. Chihuahua back. Uh, you can't do that. <clears throat> can't sink eight. You can sink eight, but it can't be with a level four. <sighs> so, no, no, no. I wish. I wish. Holy shit, I wish you could fucking sink. That'd be powerful, though. You could just target fucking level 4. That's low. Uh, that's low. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sink. 5. Ally Justice Catastrophe. Well, I can negate you. Sink nine has to be a dragon. The level nine, probably one of the new ones. Ooh, you are no, no, no. You can't, 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 can't do that. And do that. Two more. I was like, wait, 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 wait. It's like, no, I can't be that simple to go and chase. I was like, dragon. I was so caught up in it being a dragon. And everything. Totally forgot. It has to be two or more non-tuner monsters. But she only had one. I mean, fucking. I would say, if it was just one shit, Trish would be banned. Like, Trish was banned. Like, yeah, yeah. I would say, one of the Red Dragon Archfiend level 9? Isn't there a level 9 Synchro Monster? Is 
Let's sigh. <laughs> let's sigh, people. Let's sigh. Go ahead, attack me. Go ahead, attack me so I can just be like clearing the fact negate. Alright, you're just gonna kill me. Uh, what's that, 500? Maths? This is not what I needed. I needed something that I could set so I can get an additional summon. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. That's not really what I needed. <sighs> Thinking about... You know, it shit hits the fan with Clearwing Synchro Dragon. I'm gonna go ahead and summon another uh, Ultimaya, Mayface 2 with the Limit Reverse, and... Uh, uh, additional Mally, so I can lock him. So unless he straight up gets Regeki, he can't target them nor attack them, so. It's like, damn it, there's so many spell and trap cards in this, this fucking deck, and I draw a monster. And I was like, hey, I, you know, I wish I could draw that. I wish I drew Armageddon Knight, so I can go ahead and fucking do that play, and I'm like, Armageddon Knight? Like, no, not now, fuck. <laughs> That's exactly how it went down. Like, you want to get that? Wow, and I was going to draw Mally, too. Like, that's definitely not what I want to draw, either. I want to draw all spells and traps. Like, I don't I don't want... With Ultimate on the field, I want this. Look at all of the spells and trappage. Like, that's what I want. Just so I can set it and get my effect. That's all I want. Wow. Well, Alright, so Forbidden Lance. So I dropped down to... 600? 600? So I take 400. I'm that's right, right? Yeah. But please tell me I got my fucking math right. Wow. Did I cost? Wow, even if it's discarded as a cost. Even if it's discarded as a cost. So what are you? You're five. Nah, I'll leave it alone. I was thinking about doing the whole to my play again, but I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna see what he does, and because he's, he's long resources, but so am I. And I'm gonna like, just go ahead and remember and summon and go with the terror play during the end phase. Wow, the Lance and the Phoenix Swing Run Blast. He just fucked me up. He just fucked up all my plays. I said, I really wish I would have drew into something that's not Armageddon Knight, because I would definitely want to set and win to Void Ogre, but. It's luck of the draw. I didn't draw into a Spell of Trap, and there's so many drew into Armageddon Knight, which I didn't want. I wanted it before, earlier, but not now. <laughs> but I would have drew it if I would have drew into six cards instead of five. It's interesting. Interesting how different your hand could be with the one card, you know? And you drop that card, uh, that opening hand from, five, from six to five, it's like, oh, shit, <laughs> that one card could definitely be the future. This has been a handful of times where that next card would have been exactly what I needed in that opening hand. But if he would have went first, then I would probably would have got fucked up with that Phoenix Woman in the last a long time ago, so. Shit, as soon as I would have summoned Ultimate, he would have fucking Phoenix Woman blasted it, so. But I still would have been able to pull off my plays. Think five. Oh, here we go. Fucking fabled dragon. I hate this guy. It's like stupid. It's like, oh yeah, pot of greed when you synchro summon it. Yeah. That, that, that's just like, what? Of course he's not going to have any fucking cards in his hands. Fucking fables. Like, nah, nah, nah. So, if he can go ahead and make a fucking formula, he can go into Quasar. Because he has two level five synchro monsters right here, so. Ooh, that would be bad. That would be terrible. I'm about to say, if I lose, it's all because of luck. <laughs> this man got the luck to stop all my plays and pull, and pull off his own plays perfectly. Like... That, that, that sometimes that takes me off the most when my opponent is able to pull off every single play because they open up and draw it perfectly. It's just like like mm, there is the there is the luck right there. Take it, take it. Bring your face limit verse. 
watch him hold, watch him be like, yeah, I held on to the MST, like, oh my god. <laughs> of course, last resort. And I, I shuffled the deck. I was like, I'm going to draw into Mali. Activate my effect. Shuffle the deck. No, I'll draw into Mali again. Like, holy shit. Like, I get there's only one Mali left, and now it's number generated, but seriously. Like, I, I clearly revealed Mali, and you saw Mali, I was going to draw into Mali, and then I shuffled back and drawn to Mali again. Like, how do you shuffle and put the same fucking card back on top of the deck, Dian? Cannot stand Dian with its fucking shuffling mechanic. It's fucking stupid. I can't even fucking do another Ultimaya play anymore. Damn, that sucks. Damn, that sucks. Oh, my God. I have all the shit to draw. You make me draw I, the fucking Mally I didn't want to draw last turn. Fuck you, BN. I hate... Oh, my God. It's nothing like real life. <laughs> shit wouldn't happen. If that shit happened, then I didn't shuffle properly then, did I? Shit, that's like, that's like me shuffling, and then my opponent cuts it and puts it right back on top of the deck. It's like... What? What the fuck? I don't even have the life points to even do plays like that. <sighs> I said I could, I could soul charge to, I could soul charge the, the, but I don't have anything to set. You know, I gotta take, I gotta continue taking it slow. I gotta continue taking it slow. But if he keeps setting monsters, then you know he's just, he's gonna just keep losing resources. So you know that's all I care about. As long as you keep, as long as your shit keeps dying too. I'm building up resources, but he's building up resources too. So, this is bad. I'm just, I just got lucky that he wasn't able to make a formula and go into a quasar. That's all I'm thankful for. Swing. So I can go ahead and play Soul Charge. P. One thousand. Summon. Mally, or someone, it doesn't matter. I guess I'll, I guess I'll summon Armageddon Knight so he can send, but yeah, pay 1,000, summon, then tribute, summon Mally. So, well, no, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Oh my god, I don't wanna pay too much, because I don't wanna be in cowboy territory. Uh, this is difficult. This is really difficult. I, of course, I have to have something to set with the Ultimaya. I wanna, I wanna go on the offensive, and going on the offensive would be great. It's just... How am I supposed to pull that off? I, I need to wait one more turn. I need to wait one more turn. One more turn. And now he has some back row set, so. And he has spore in the graveyard. I don't think he has any other plants, though. So far, no, so. I just don't have to worry about spore going off. Like I said, I want to go on the offensive, definitely. I want to summon Ultimate Nightmare. If I can pull off an Ultimaya, Armageddon Knight doesn't help. Not at all. I keep drawing fucking Armageddon Knight and it does nothing for me. It does nothing for me. Summon Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight send whatever. Uh does nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. Armageddon Knight, you're doing nothing for me. This is the second time where I drew you, and you're doing fucking nothing. Instead of doing something, you do nothing. It's like, beautiful. Thank you, Armageddon Knight. I love you. But I love you. I mean, I don't need you right now. Go away. Shit. I don't need none of you, actually. I don't need these tomatoes. If I just start drawing these tomatoes, then I'll just be terrible. The guard grapher I could probably use just because I can special summon it. I could pitch special summon it. But that's pretty much it. Do I have to wait one more turn? Nah, no, I gotta wait a couple more turns. Like, god damn it. God damn it. Draw Armageddon Knight again. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Woo! DN! What the fuck? <laughs> I said if I draw a fucking Mystic Tomato, it's bad. Nah, no, nah. No. Send a Mystic Tomato, draw a Mystic Tomato. Like, oh, thank you. I guess I'll just keep on whittling your life points down with fucking useless ass monsters. You know, if you can give me like a fucking revival trap card, that's fine. That's a waste of back row, but sure. 
Tomato's gonna die anyway. I would hold on to that for later, but I guess you can clearly say I'm not running any back cards, so you're like, why? You know. Like I said, a fucking revival back row would just be wonders. I still would have to pay two thousand, like if I you know if I discard special and I would have to pay two thousand life points. I can discard special. Activate Soul Charge, pay 2,000, summon the Mali back, summon the Armageddon Knight back, XC those two and two, uh, Emerald, detach, summon back, uh, uh, Ultimaya, those two and two, another lab, I mean, summon Labradite, those two into Ultimaya, set the, the Swing of Memories, activate effect, summon Scrap, Scrap, destroy, destroy, so it comes down to his back row, I guess I can go ahead and push with the play. It's push if, if, literally if he burns me for the last 600 or gets me for the last 600, that's my fault. That was my fault for taking the damage with uh, when he attacked me with them secret monsters. But I really wanted to be safe with my Ebel played. So. so I guess we'll go ahead and do this. And if I get stopped, I get stopped. So I, get, I need to summon a Mally. And it's all because I drew Mally. It's all because I drew Mally that I had to do these stupid fucking plays. Like, that's the sad thing. Thank you, fucking DN, for making me draw shit that I don't want to draw over and over. And look at this. All I have is fucking spells and traps left. That's all I fucking have. Like, can we draw the same shit over and over and over and over and over and over and over? I'm going to defensive. So I don't think I'm too afraid of the monster. I don't know which one more I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of the monster or the back row. Okay. Well, it's still technically set. Okay. Still set though. Well, so. Just MST the entire time. He's just waiting for me to set something. Okay. Well, you get your effect, I get my effect, so it's only your two tokens. And I'll go ahead and summon Ultimate Man. Watch the watch watch him top deck in Regeki and then just win this game. That would that would just be sad. That would just be sad. I'm going on the defensive right here. Regeki would do top deck Regeki would just be terrible. Just terrible. Oh shit, he can banish Dandy and summon fucking Sporebat. Oh my god, I still might get it, actually. This will be bad. I have the, I have a defense, but I have a feeling that he might be able to get over it. Alright, tokens are level 1. 1 level 1 banish, summon. Uh, game level, so force. Like, please, for the love of fucking god. Four. Oh, you can go into Black Rose. Ah, oh, fuck! <sighs> All right. Yep. There's no fucking top decking for this deck. Should have just won the Beals. Should have just won the Beals. I got nothing. I got fucking nothing. That's it. That's all I got. And I, of course, I drew into revival that I don't need. So all it literally has to do is just summon a monster with 600 attack and attack me. Thank you, DN, for now allowing me to draw into what I fucking need. Wow. Wow. DN fucked me so hard in this duel. So hard. So fucking hard. So fucking hard. All right, people. I'm done. Wow. Like, really? Wow.
just gave him the fucking dandy to go ahead and use the spore to make the black rose and just like god thank you for giving him everything and giving me not what i need like come on i did not want to do that fucking soul charge play not at all but i was like fuck it fuck it i gotta do something this duel is not going anywhere unless i do something and i did it and i got fucked for it so thank you vm thank you where's my calls my oasis is my limit verse nah i get none of those like just monsters and fucking shit that i don't need like thank you thank you i hate dm all right, people, I'm going to call an episode. So I hope that you guys enjoyed me getting butt-fucked by the DN number generator. So stupid. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you guys. Mm, not you, Elk Season. Probably going to take the deck off if I'm in one because, like I said, that deck combos harder than this deck. That's it. I'm probably going to keep this deck on. It's fun. It's fun. That was a decently fun duel. It just sucks that I couldn't fucking do the plays that I wanted to do. Like, not at all. Like, not at all. All I needed to do was just draw like a Call of the Haunted Wasis Limitverse, one of my trap cards. That's all I needed. Didn't draw it. Awesome. That's all I needed. You know? Instead, I'd draw a fucking Swing. Like, and even Silent Doom would have been fine, because like, at least I can summon my fucking Labradite Defense Mode and wouldn't die during the end phase. Like, nah, you're gonna draw a Swing. Like, really? Out of all the cards you draw, Swing. Silent Doom would have been fine. Limitverse would have been fine. Call of the Haunted would have been fine. Uh, Wasis would have been fine. So many cards that would have been fine that were left. You didn't let me draw a Swing. That was just my duel to lose, huh? <laughs> so, I don't know. It'll either, it'll either be... I don't know. Either be a shit all you bell or a great all you bell. Because I definitely want to put those two back on Vitamin Y. So, one of those two. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.